everybody. We're in Oldham now. I wanted to show you the back of these buildings here. So because they've moved the um, TJUs, this has opened up the old walkway. Now this side is where used, people used to walk through to get to the old St. Peter's Church. Right everyone, so we're here. We're gonna... Uh, I have to be honest with you everybody, it's actually really depressing. Oldham is very depressing. I don't think I'm going to come back again anytime soon. I think the only time I'm going to come back is when they knock down the market all and they get rid of the market and when they knock down the Civic and then finally when they open up the library but rumour has it that that library is not going to be like a uh, local interest now. I think it's going to be mainly council offices, which is strange because they're doing that in the spindles. But there you go. And there's going to be public meeting rooms there. But we'll see. We'll see what comes of it anyway. But I have to say, I never use a downcast about Oldham, everyone, but it's really depressing. Anyway, let's see if we can cheer ourselves up by getting on the market because the purpose of the visit is to buy some material. So, should we go around to the market first or do you want your chips first? Simon's getting some chips. Let's go and get some chips and gravy, everyone. Right, everyone, suddenly I've just picked up now. I'm happy about Oldham again because this stall is everything I was looking for. I've just managed to get for eight, 12 metres of fabric for 22 quid, which is absolutely amazing. And they've got some beautiful stuff. So I'm going to uh, get to sewing and then next weekend I might come back down and get some more of this to embellish. But now I need to find Mother and Simon. I don't know where the hell they are. Maybe we can buy some, um, ooh, see there's more here. Mer fabrics, they've got loads of stuff. This is brilliant, everybody. I'm absolutely loving this. Yeah, I'm loving this, everyone. All of a sudden, I love it in Oldham again. This is brilliant. To be fair, most of the stalls, you can only buy like Islamic clothing. However, there's just some really, really good stuff. Um, I'm looking out for a makeup stall, actually. Got some nice black coal for the eyes or something like that. Be really nice. I'm just trying to find my mum and Simon now. Everybody, look at this cat. He's beautiful. Oh, ch -ch 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 -ch. hello. Ch -ch -ch -ch. The snipe, everybody. Closed for business. Let's have a look in through the window before they knock it down. Oh, they've ripped it all out, everyone. There's all flies in there. Must be something dead inside. You can see like... Oh, it's lovely, that cat. It really stinks around here, everybody. Let's have a look through this window. See the old bar, everybody? And can you see... Can you see that beautiful tiled floor? I think the smell is actually coming from inside the building, believe it or not. Let's have a look through this window. They've not ripped much of it out, but they've ripped most. Yeah, they're brilliant them, aren't they? The, the old... Yeah, I think it was to show you like what each shop was about. Like this was a tailor. So he would have been a tailor. He would have been a wood maker, look a cabinet maker, joiner. Let's see if we can work out who this one is. Looks like he's got a, a bird in his hand. Maybe he was a butcher or something. Cobbler. Cobbler. 
Fish mo that's a fishmonger. This is a fishmonger, yeah. Right, we're on a roll here. We've got two more at the end. You've got some kind of pot. Yeah, I wonder what he was. We haven't seen that. There's the baker at the end. So what would he have been then? A pot. Oh, maybe medicine, Simon. Herbalist. And then the baker at the end. Above Pound Bakery, everyone. And this is an old pub. It used to be Greenwoods. Prior to that, it was an old pub, and I cannot remember the name of it. Um, but it was actually a hotel, and it was ran by a couple who were buried up in... Buried up in... Um, what's the jig? Uh, Grinnickers. And he was Scottish, and she was from Oldham. Yeah. Never noticed that there, everybody. That's CP above. Yeah, I'm not fed up with Oldham anymore now, everyone. I'm actually quite buyed up. That is fabulous, that market. If you want to do yeah. fabrics and stuff. Yeah, anyway. Honestly, everyone, if you want to, if you feel like you want to start doing uh, what I'm doing, trying making your own clothes and stuff, and just doing something a little bit different, and it is different making your own stuff nowadays, isn't it? Because generally everyone just goes and buys. Then you need to get in there definitely because there's loads of bargains. I mean, 150 a meter. So I got I got four meters, four meters of everything, but the green is a little bit transparent. So I think I might have to make like a a top out of it maybe a floaty top but then like with a lining on the inside so but i can worry about that another time